What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Now if you guys are new here, my name is Brad. This is Be Modified. Man, look at this beautiful weather here. I mean, springtime's here guys, 100%. I'm loving it. We're gonna get some work done on the Sonoma today. We're gonna take all of the stuff out of the engine bay here on the Sonoma and it's gonna get completely trashed. A lot of it's no good anyways. Also, as I showed you guys before in the last video, um, all these parts are getting replaced with everything out of that blazer in the backyard, including the engine and transmission out of the blazer. So that's the plan today. Strip this engine bay completely down except for the brake assembly, and we're going to get it all prepped and painted. And before we get started doing that, I got a little surprise to show you guys. I picked up a little more parts this weekend, and it's going to be awesome. There you have it, guys. We got another truck to add to the fleet. <laughs> as you can see we're gonna be taking the hood off of this truck the grill the headlights also I know my truck out in the garage has headlights but these headlights have clips on the back of them that go inside the core support and then they have little locking slide things that go down the headlights on my truck in the garage have the clips are broken off of them so we're gonna use these headlights I'll just have to get them cleaned up and make them look new again which isn't a problem my buddy did that on the SS you guys seen that now as for the interior on this thing as you can see everything in this truck is in really good condition it's pretty dirty but everything's been pretty well taken care of for the most part and uh, I'm gonna use quite a bit of stuff here like y'all know from the last video I need to reuse this trim piece here because I busted the big old piece out of the top of it so we're gonna use that um, also, I mean the sun's probably a little too bright in here, but this dash is in perfect condition except for this piece up here and that grill for the speaker over there, which that's no big deal. I can buy those pretty cheap, but the dash itself is in amazing condition. So we're going to use the dash out of this truck. Now I know I told you guys in the last video that we were going to be wrapping the dash and this part of the door panels in a microfiber suede. I ordered that material and it did come in but I ordered the wrong material <laughs> what I did was I ordered the material that you use to wrap subwoofer boxes which is okay because we need some of that anyway for our custom sub box that we're building in the back of that truck but since we got this perfect dash right here I'm gonna take and paint this dash the same color as all the interior pieces on the Sonoma in the garage and then I'll probably take these pieces off of these door panels and that paint that vinyl and fabric paint that I used on the interior pieces already I can paint this fabric here so I'm probably gonna tape this off and then paint all of this fabric and put those on the other door panels I'm also debating on taking this steering wheel and putting it in the other truck and taking that stupid racing steering wheel out because I feel like their racing steering wheel is ugly the colors aren't gonna match with this color scheme of the truck anyways um, the only downside here is this thing's a five speed and so we're gonna have to still use the center console out of that blazer which is fine there's nothing wrong with it and uh, but what I really want to do is use these seats because the seats in the blazer are, are pretty nasty um, I think I could clean them up but they're just not in as good a shape as these ones because that blazer is missing two doors and it's sat out in the field for a year so what I think I'm going to do since this center console see here that the center console just bolts to the side of the seat right here and then this part is actually connected to the seat but it's all cushion except for on the bottom side I can feel that there's a metal bolt uh, there's a metal bar that goes around it so I feel like I'm gonna just go ahead and like take the cover off of this whole seat and cut that off right there and then I'll just use a piece of this material to sew it back closed and then I can use these seats for the truck in the garage so there you go guys just a little update on a way things are working out here we finally got every piece of the puzzle to this truck so now let's go ahead and get it started i'm ready to get this thing on the road and running all right guys so now that i got you guys up to speed on the fact that we got every piece of for this truck it's time to start ripping this engine bay apart
We had to take us a break a minute, fellas. Getting us a new light set up in the shop. Thanks to my buddy, Autoborn Garage. I should see if it's Autoborn Lights in Oh, Autoborn <laughs> Lights. Go give him a follow on Instagram. He's hooking it up for us here. We're gonna be really bright in the shop now. So as you guys just seen, I about took myself out with that fender, but I had to get it off in order to get to this bolt here so that we can take the rest of that off the firewall. Oh, and there's one right here as well. I don't think that there's any, I don't think there's any more back in there, but I probably better get a flashlight and check because I'm probably wrong. Yeah, it looks like there's one more back in there, so probably gonna have to take the whole fender well off, which, oh man, I really didn't want to do that because now I gotta take the wheel off probably because the bolts that I have left to get to are clear back behind the tire and uh, it's almost impossible to do it with the tire on. I guess I'm gonna have to try to get my jack in this small space here and jack this truck up. All right, guys, so I was able to get the inner fender off without taking the wheel off. Now we can get to the bolts here and finish removing this AC and heater. Now we can just pop it off of the firewall. It's gonna have a seal on it. It's not gonna wanna come off very easily. So we just gotta pry on it and break that seal. Oh yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. Success, baby. All right, guys. So I went to take out this right here, which is the windshield wiper motor. And I forgot that in order to take that out, you gotta unbolt it from all these bars that are going through down in here which meant that I had to take off the windshield wipers and this plastic trim piece here. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get this removed. And it's probably gonna be as far as we tear this engine bay down because I really don't wanna mess with moving the brakes. Then I'll have to go through a nightmare of trying to get them all bled properly and everything. And I've, I've honestly never messed with that before. So I really just wanna leave that alone and just kind of plastic everything off around it and paint as well as we can on the backside of all that. And as far as over here on this side, I didn't want to tear it down all the way like this, but we had to, to get the heater and AC box off. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave this part tore down to this state, even though I didn't want to take it any farther than that. So once I get that out of the way, I'm gonna get everything cleaned up and we should be able to start taping everything off so it can be painted. So uh, I kind of removed the other fender as well. But now everything's all nice and cleaned up. We just need to plastic everything else off that we don't want to get covered in paint. And then we'll start sanding so that we can actually paint that firewall. So the method I'm gonna use, and you guys might choose to do differently, but I'm gonna take 600 grit sandpaper and wet sand it. And uh, all I'm really gonna to try to do is get rid of the clear coat and get into this red a little bit. And I definitely don't want to dig in and scratch it real bad which is why we're gonna wet sand it. Let me just go in here, just wet sand it. You don't wanna to use too much pressure. You just wanna glide across it and make sure you sand it really well. Make sure you keep it nice and wet. Oh yeah, look at that red. You see we're already getting in the paint. That's good, it ain't gonna take no time at all. Just take your time too. I know it looks like I'm going fast, but take your time, make sure you get in every little nook and cranny. Otherwise your new paint will not stick. It'll start chipping and flaking on you and then you'll just be really upset with yourself. Let's get these fenders all sanded out and then we can move on to wax and grease remover and paint. It takes a lot of time, but it's gonna be worth it. See there, we're starting to burn through the paint. That's what I'm saying, you gotta be careful. All right guys, so now that we got everything wax and grease removed, all of our holes and such are taped off, now it's time to spray primer and paint. Now before we get to doing this, just keep in mind, the color of this engine bay is not gonna be what the color of the truck is. It does kinda go with it in a way though. So with that being said, let's get after it.
paint job is done. We got the whole front end put back together. And to be honest, I really don't like the color. Uh, I, I didn't think it was going to turn out like that. I'm not really liking it that much. It kind of just looks like a, a really ugly Ford blue. Not only that, but this is the paint that I used. And for those of you that don't know much about spray paint, I thought I was doing something right by using this engine heat paint to keep the heat in the engine bay here from messing with the paint so bad. But my buddy who's a professional painter came over and pointed out to me that this stuff right here is not a 2K paint, which means that there's no hardener in it. So what you do with this is that right there, chuck it in the trash. The reason we're gonna chuck that paint in the trash is because if you take this brake cleaner right here, which people pretty commonly use, we're gonna spray it on that firewall and then rub that firewall with this cloth right here and you can see that the paint will start to come off. I'll put some brake cleaner on this rag and it'll work even better. Okay, so now we got the rag saturated and we'll just start rubbing it on this firewall right here. And as you can see, we went through the primer and eventually got to the red. And I sanded it all down before we painted, and this is what's happening. So that's why that paint is junk. So having shown you that, what we're going to do is strip the whole front end back off the vehicle and strip all that paint off of there and start back at square one with some automotive paint. And the engine bay is going to just be the same color as the outside of the truck now because, uh, I thought it would be okay, but my buddy pointed out to me that it will look pretty stupid. It kind of look like it'll probably end up looking like a Hot Wheels car or something. So, so it's going to get all stripped back off of there and painted the same color as the truck. Now I know that that kind of sucks. I did a lot of work, painted it. It looks nice, but it's really just not good paint to use. Um, I mean, at first I felt like I wasted a lot of time because it honestly took me like two or three days to do this project. And uh, I just kind of look at it like, if there's one thing that you guys can learn from this video, do not ever use rattle can spray paint on your car. Unless it's 2K paint and it has a hardener in it. A lot of them will come with a little red button on the bottom of the can and you just press it and it activates the hardener in it. That's the only way you want to use spray paint on your vehicle. Do not use this kind of crap with no hardener in it because it will wipe right off there with the certain kind of cleaner so I'm probably not gonna make a video of tearing the front end back off the truck and stripping all that paint off of there you guys already seen me pull the vehicle apart once so uh, what's gonna happen is I'll probably get back on this project we're not gonna be jumping into the paint job just yet but uh, I am gonna start getting back into putting the rest of the interior together because I finished stripping all the parts off of the parts Sonoma in the backyard so we can get all that finished and then we'll get back on doing the paint job. So with that being said, guys, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed today's content, smash that like button. Leave your comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe on your way out. And just like that, we'll catch you guys in the next one.